What's up guys? G the Foreign Gamer. And I'm back with some pickups. Can't believe it's so soon, but um a little bit of a funny story. I went uh garage shopping yesterday and uh hit up maybe six or seven and I did not find a single thing. I was so pissed I came up to this one, they didn't have anything. I asked, you know, obviously. That's rule number one when going uh hunting for games and uh Ask and they say, Oh, yeah, I have some, but not here, obviously. Why don't you give me your phone and uh, we'll send you a text with what I have? And I've done this a couple times, and most of the times I never get an answer. So I'm like, Eh, sure, why not? Now, next day, today, uh, a guy shoots me a couple of pictures. I'm like, Holy shit, I gotta get this. So here I am. Um, first up, I'm gonna show the N64 stuff I got, which starts up with this. Now, as you can see, apparently there was some paint poured over on this, uh, but it should come off pretty easily. I'm not worried about that. But that was a nice little plus. The, those cases, which are going up in price, I right hear. Um, I also got, of course, a 64 system. A little dusty, but it's all in there. Um, in a couple games, it's funny because uh, that case holds a lot of games, but they only had a uh, four. So, Excite Bike 64, Namco Museum 64, Monopoly 64, all in decent shape, and probably the best one, Super Mario 64. So that wasn't bad, right? A little added plus. Um, then, when I see all the Super Nintendo stuff this guy had, it just blew my mind. Well, first of all, the glorious uh, gray one. Gotta show that, right? But um, for the games, I'm gonna need your patience here, because uh, there's a lot. And uh, let's get started from from the most common ones, um, NBA, you know, a couple of sports, one, sports ones, of course. Got to have a Shaq Fu in the lot. Just you just have to. And now these ones are all in pretty good shape. A uh, little dirt that I have to yet clean up, but for the most part, it's all like all the labels are pretty minty. I, I cannot complain. Um, more sports. So I counted 37 cards, so hope you guys are keeping count here. Um, nothing special so far, you know, started, starting with the, the least uh, popular ones. A um, couple of good ones, Street Fighter 2 and Killer Instinct, which I'm upgrading uh, my labels on. Uh, let's see, more sports, Terminator. Primal Rage, who remembers that? Jungle Book, Spider-Man. And again, label-wise, it's just as minty as it gets. Um, I had to drive about an hour to get to this uh, guy's house, but it was totally worth it. Well, Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 and Super Star Wars, right there. Got Wolverine, Lion King, of course. Another one that I always get when this lots. Spawn and Krusty's Funhouse. Now, for the those, that's just probably the low end of what I got. But most popular, most uh, I guess I should say pricier things are coming up. And now, still nothing rare, rare. I did not get a Chrono Trigger, which is what I was hoping for. But, and here's uh, the first gem. Turtles in Time. Now, if you saw my last video, I just picked a copy of this. So I guess this one will be up for trade. Oh, what's that? Battletoads Battle Maniacs. I didn't have this game. I think I'm going to keep. We'll see. 
and maximum carnage. Yeah, it was it was uh, it was a good day for uh, for video games. Got this bee ball, which apparently it's pretty pricey. Kind of getting up there in 20 bucks or so. Power Rangers the movie. And Tournament Fighters. Why not? Battletoads. And Double Dragon. That I didn't have either. I was pretty excited about. Got the mask as well. And... Batman Returns. So that's all the Super Nintendo games. It's a pretty decent stack. I'm not gonna lie, I was uh, I was hesitant when uh, when going there because you know you never know how much you're gonna end up paying. But this was a crazy good deal. I I really can't complain. Uh, a couple of uh, Rumble Pack and a memory card for the N64. And then, you know, of course, when I'm there, I say, well, do you have anything else you want to show me? And he just starts pulling out Game Boy and DS stuff. I guess I'll start with the Game Boy stuff. Nothing crazy, but I paid five bucks for all the Game Boy stuff. This is probably just worth it on its own. It's Dragon Ball Z. The Pokemon game, of course, also makes it worth it. Worth it. He also had a uh, PS2 with games, but he was keeping that. Also got a couple of this uh, holders, which I never liked, but hey, I'm not going to complain if you're going to throw him in there. A lot of games, I'm trying to fast through them. Oh, another pack for the 64. And oh, did I mention a DSi? Which works perfectly. Too bad for the pink uh, stylus, but whatever. Just gotta clean that label out down there, but five bucks for all that. It's just a no brainer. Um, of course, with the Super Nintendo, uh, the guy had a couple controllers. This one, the dog got to them apparently because uh, it's munched. But hey, it was a good deal. Got all the cores for the Super Nintendo as well. Did not get any uh, any control for the uh, 64, but I do have the power cord. That's for uh, garage sales. Um, I also got a pretty decent deal on eBay. Not gonna lie, uh, been looking for this game for a while. And that's uh, Castlevania: Lords of, Lords of Shadows, uh, but the collector's edition, which is pretty nice. It looks like a book. And uh, has some really cool art here at the beginning. Look at that. Pretty nice stuff. And then uh, it has a soundtrack in there. Here's the playlist. And the game with the manual. Now, of course, I already uh, had the game, but I, I really want, I'm a huge Castlevania fan, and I really wanted this. So that was a little, nice little pass for the end of the week. Um, and that's going to be it. Uh, again, it's it's rare that I pick up uh, so many things so soon. But hey, I'm not complaining. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned. Who knows, maybe next week I'll hit gold again. Thanks.